And we're back. It's women's singles time. A little bit behind schedule here at the Emirates Arena. What a great job Babin and Scotland have done this week preparing this wonderful arena for this newly elevated Scottish Open. Now Grand Prix. From the old days back in the Kelvin Hall to this fantastic state-of-the-art arena. On the outskirts of Glasgow, incorporating also the velodrome next door and Celtic Park just across the road. And of course, all in the build-up to the Commonwealth Games, which will be held here with this Emirates Arena holding the badminton tournament next Ladies summer. And, and as you can see on screen, with Peja Nedelcheva of Bulgaria. And on my left, Karin Schnauzer, Germany. And Karen Schnazer, Karen, of course, outside of the German National play. Center these days as, as an independent player. And really enjoying her badminton so much more than she ever has. The German. One, love. I'm Mark Phelan. And alongside me, Ray Stevens is with me once again. And Ray... Uh, what are your thoughts about this match and these two girls? Well, two very contrasting styles. Uh, I always think of uh, Karen, who I think is a lovely player, but she's very much a runner uh, in her style, whereas uh, Nedelcheva is so strong and uh, very, very consistent. Um, doesn't give you any cheap long. points at all and can be a bit of a nightmare for someone like Karen because uh, uh, she, she's... Um, uh, got the power to finish rallies. Yeah, certainly a lot of power in that right arm of Petya Nedelcheva. Nedel Karen is a fighter and uh, someone who's playing a very relaxed game at the moment. The pressure's taken off her. Now playing her badminton as she wants to and when she wants to. And Nedelcheva, of course, hasn't played that much singles recently. Has played a lot of women's doubles alongside Imogen Bank here. But back in the frame of mind to play singles again this week at the Scottish Open. But when Petia does play singles, she's uh, so strong and so difficult for players uh, because... Um, you can try and uh, outmaneuver her on the court and her strength just seems to get her out of all the uh, holes that she gets into. And she really is deceptively quick, the Bulgarian. She looks... You know, she's quite heavy, quite bulky, but she can certainly move very quick and she gets the shuttle. She really has uh, no right to get to it sometimes. And then when she gets that right arm going and the shuttle coming down, it comes down with such ferocity. Very difficult to return. I mean, it's like that point there. Um, Karen's Five. put it down to her back, backhand Two. side. She's whipped it across court and then she's turned the player again and won the point. Um, this is real advanced singles when you're turning players to this level. Oh, good rally. In the end, Sneddal Cheva comes out on top with a really good rally, Ray. Six, well, if, you, if, you, if you looked at that rally, I mean, Karen is a player that's uh, uh, the mobile player and she's all over the court, etc. But then uh, the moment uh, Petia gets a chance to finish the rally, bang, you know, it just she just kills it. Yeah, she seizes that opportunity. A good flat drive and then coming cross court again. Seven, two.
eight, two. Lazy error from Karen. Oh, that looked to be going out down that I side. I thought that was going out, yes. Three, eight. Karen's given away a few too many cheap points here, and uh, Petty has given away nothing, and it just shows in the scoreline. battling performance from Schnazza and that's as you said Ray that's what she's all about she'll battle hard and she'll run all day Four, so mobile eight. she's mm. so quick across the court I mean uh, Petia looked like she had the advantage in that rally and uh, uh, Schnazza did well to um, come back and win the point Lovely shot. Yeah, again. Oh, I certainly thought that one was out. No real argument from Karen. I think she agreed with you, though, Mark. Mm. Petty is so strong though. I mean, she's opened up some of these uh, rallies with sort of two smashes, just just to see what her opponent will do. Again, that looked to be going out. Petty electing to still take the shuttle. Service over. I think one of the Five. strengths of uh, Karen Five. though is that she. Uh, keeps at you. She keeps um, uh, prepared to fight for every single point and really chase every shuttle and uh, it's one of her strengths. Yeah, she's like a little terrier always nipping at your ankles. Mm. Just never lets you go. So it's over. Ten, five. So it's over. And again, Schnauzer are looking back Six, to the line judge, looking for ten. that confirmation. See it in the replay. Yeah, right on the line. Did Petya dig that one out? Unbelievable. Interval. Again, you know, she's so much more mobile than she looks. So much more uh, flexible. And it's the interval lead for Ned Elcheva. Eight minutes gone, 11 6. But uh, plenty of positives for Schnazza. After a pretty slow start, still, you know, she's playing some good shots and still in this game. She's in there battling, isn't she, Mark? Just mm. as you said, she keeps on. Uh, uh, nipping at uh, Petia's ankles there mm. and she's uh, chasing every single point which I think is a great strength of hers but the amazing thing is she's the one who looks a mobile one on Four, the court and one, yet Petia one, still gets to every shuttle Four, and uh, one, even in her one, poor one, positions she's able to use her power to get out of them and sometimes you just put a smash in into the rally not expecting to win the point just because it's another shot 
He's powerful enough to do it. Eleven, six, play. Oh, that looked to me as if it clipped the line for sure. I think Karen has justifiable reasons to be a little bit disappointed with that call. But that's about three calls that she's had that's uh, probably gone against her where it's been very, very tight. And then that's that power. It gets her out of so many holes and she can just switch it on when she needs to switch it on. 13, 6. There wouldn't be many women in the world that hit much harder than that, that's for sure. Yeah, I think Petchett turning back to her Sorry, coach, Orlin, asking him, asking him was that in or out. I'm on that line, it was certainly going to land in, a good shot from Schnauzer. Still a healthy lead for the Bulgarian. Yeah, she must feel quite comfortable at the moment, but I think Karen's got the sort so of game that if she was really on her game and uh, playing her best badminton, she could tr Seven. trouble her because she's so mobile and is prepared to play the rallies. And uh, that would sort of chip away at Petty, but you've got to be able to do it for longer than Karen's doing it at the moment. Oh. Sorry, Uncharacteristic Eight, error 14. on the serve from Petya Nedelcheva. Oh, Karen at full stretch. 15, 8. That looked out also. I think Petty could have left that one and it would have dropped out. Nine, fifteen. Karen's not really shown shots that can worry Petya at the moment though. There's, uh, there's been very little that can actually uh, put her under the sort of pressure whereas uh, as you see there Petya puts a big smash in and um, it, it, it's 16, really creates the opening. Um, so she just needs something to um, put a little bit more pressure on Petya. Yeah. Like that. That that is a superb so shot. And uh Yeah, getting on the attack yeah, nice and early in the rally. Yeah, and taking the opportunity when it when it was presented to her. Yeah. Mm. And there probably wasn't um any slice on that. She just sort of uh, cut it out of the air. Mm. Uh, very close to a stick smash sort of thing. Oh maybe a soft net was the shot to play there. She was up nice and high on it. Over. 17 11. just sort of maintaining this sort of uh, lead that makes her play comfortable badminton. She, she needs to be put under just that bit more pressure. 
So have you sold that? <laughs> it's well, great when the 17. coach agrees with the player and oh, yeah. a little bit of theatre at the back of the court there. Yeah, he rarely disagrees, but man, you don't want to get on the wrong side of Orlin. Good, good from Karen. 13, 17. It was, I thought Pletcher was going to get away with that rally for one, one moment there because um, Karen had her all over the place and then uh, her power was getting, it, getting her out of it and then all of a sudden she produced that lovely stop shot. Snazza just starting to chip away 14, at this lead. 17. This is four on her own now for Schnauzer. And one more point and she'll really feel that she can put the pressure on Nedelcheva. And then I think you'll see Nedelcheva coming out with some power shots and uh, that, to break it. I mean, look at that That's for a shot. She's, she's clipped it down a forehand side and then she's whipped it across court. That's the sort of thing you see in top class men's badminton. Mm -hmm. 15. But Petra at the moment has gone a bit passive. She needs to uh, yeah. uh, just become a bit more aggressive, I think, in her play. I think she felt she could just coast it over the line, right? It's just a matter of playing out the rallies. But uh doesn't work that way against Karen. 19, 15. Not much Schnazer could do about that smash into the body. And that's definitely the advantage that Petty has got. She's got the power on her, on her side. Good block from the Bulgarian. Oh, great net. I think Karen has to deal with the um, cut shots that she's producing to the front of the court. Uh, she played in that rally there. She played a lovely cross net. It's changing Petya's direction that is the key to this uh, thing. But I think she might just have left it a bit late in this match. And again, it's power that it's makes a difference. Yeah, and it takes Nedelcheva to game point. Four games points for the Bulgarian. That's, there's a power 20, in that right arm. Game point, 16. Yeah. Lovely play, lovely control of the rally from Schnauzer. And if you look at this at 17-20 now, those three very close uh, line calls all of a sudden become very, very important, plus the one or two uh, unforced errors that uh, Karen's given her. This could have been a totally different match. Oh, got a little bit lucky. Catching the tape. Eighteen twenty. I think you're going to see a big smash in one of these rallies here. That's coming up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Smash winner in the end, Fernando Cheva gets it over the line, 21-18. But a much better second half of that game from Schnazer Ray. And really, she go into this one second game Nedelcheva. feeling a, a lot more confident than she did at the eight. interval in the first. She, she, she's playing well. She's a very experienced player, isn't she, uh, uh, Karen? And um, I believe she's had some really good results this season. She's uh, pl playing a good season. Um, but I just get the feeling that uh, nettlechaver has got just that bit more in her armoury and uh, when she's under pressure she can um, get out of the uh, difficult points with her power and when the shuttle goes up and it's slightly short she's got this killing smash that um, Karen's got to rely on uh, uh, her sort of shots and uh, clips it's a very, very different uh, styles of play. But she's done a great job, Karen, of um, uh, chipping away there and uh, getting such a close game against what is a, effectively a world-class singles player. So once again, Orlin Orlin issuing the uh, directions to Nella Chev. And remember, one, once again, 20, if you're on Twitter, don't forget to tweet one, using the hashtag SOGP. And we'll do our best to read out as many as we can over the course of the coming days here at the Emirates Arena. Meanwhile, both players back on court. Second game about to commence. Petya Nielalcheva already one Second game to the game. good, 21-18. But I expect this one to be just a little bit closer. Certainly Karen has found the rhythm, has found the game. And it's looking a lot more confident after a pretty bad start against Nielalcheva. But as you say, Ray, Petya Sorry, always shoulder. has that plan B. One. A lot of times she uses as plan A, of course, mm. that heavy right arm, that power smash to get her out of so many holes. I think this is the first time Karen Schnazer has been in the lead. Service One thing over. you've got no doubt with, with Karen, One, she's got so four. much run in her that she's uh, got the fitness to, um, that if this went three sets, she'd still be there. And I think really that's what she should be um, aiming to do is, uh, if anything, prolong so the rallies, um, really uh, try and wear away at Nedeshaver uh, to try and um, uh, put her into uh, a slower mode so that she uh, can't cover the court so well. And a shout out over. to the Sterling Two. Uni Badminton mob. Oh. Loving Dan's commentary this morning. Dan, of course, heading off to do some coaching for the afternoon. Thanks, guys, for getting in touch with us on Twitter. Service over. I think Karen's getting the reward Three, of uh, uh, really making that a hard first first set now. She's sort of into a game mode and she's um, able to uh, play in, in the rallies. Yeah, she's more comfortable in the game right now than she was at the start of the, the opening game. And willing to engage in the net play Four. against Nedelcheva. She did something really good there in uh, moving the shuttle uh, uh, right across the net and I think that's a good uh, tactic against Nedelcheva, trying to turn her quickly. Five. A few cheap points Two. here. 
which is very unusual for Nedachava. Yeah, good awareness Six. from Karen. Kept concentrated at the net. And it's the fact that she's kept on Petya all the time uh, that's paying off at the moment. Um, uh, she's played so consistently and uh, not, not giving her any easy points. Prepared to fight for every single point. Service over. Really has to avoid those short lifts. This Three, Petia, Petia will put them away with ease. Missed time from Karen on the cross court drop. One of our favourite shots, a shot she, she so normally very efficient at. Clever variation, just punching it to the rear court. A oh, little, little bit off balance. Five, six. It's important she doesn't get frustrated and go for her shots too much at this time because she was doing such good work where she was prepared to rally and really make Petya cover the ground and uh, work the rallies so that she was getting a bit frustrated. So that's the sort of shot that Petya gets out of trouble with. It's on her backhand. You know, you don't get a lot of backhand smashing in ladies' singles, and there Patty is able to do it. Just got that extra gear. She's also got the confidence to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just taking the pace over a little bit, going for accuracy down Seven, the line. Six. It's important Karen gets back to the uh, start of this uh, game where she was uh, getting rallies, prepared to really move Petya. Don't let Petya dictate the rallies. Yeah, too many mistakes now from Karen. Got a really good start. She was leading 6-2, of course. And uh, six points in a row for Nedel Cheva. The momentum swung once again in favor of the Bulgarian. I wonder if Karen's realised that she's lost that many points on the trot because um, she, she's got to put a stop to it. She's got, got to really work in some of the rallies so that uh, uh, she can find that rhythm that she had earlier on. Yeah, misjudgment. Peggy knew it too. She tried to walk across and block it. But it was bang on the line, yeah. so um, Seven, good play from Karen. Nine. A reassuring and point, hopefully, for Schnauzer. Got a fight to get back in this. Nine. 
So it's definitely swinging either way here in, in that um, the player's making the mistakes and then all of a sudden they're letting the other other player into the game. So it's mistakes that are the uh, key in this match. And Petia's so power. Over. Yeah. Didn't need to go for the line on that occasion. Ten. Eight. And that's, and that's where she gets value, Schnauzer, bringing Petje into the rallies, and, uh, and that's what she was doing earlier in, in this game. And that's Nine, what she certainly needs to do more ten. of. But then, of course, taking her opportunity when it does come is also very important. Ten, and she did that just there with that smash down the line. Ten very, very accurate smash. Very accurate. Eleven, ten, interval. And a good turnaround again for Schnauzer. Interval lead for the German. You can see the smash a long way out from Petja and the replay. As Karen Schnazer with the interval lead, solitary point 11 10. After a good start, the German, remember, led 6 2. And then seven points in a row from Nedelcheva at the Bulgarian leading 9 6. But a good fight back again from Schnazer, reasserting her tactic. The interval lead for the German 11 10. And Petya Nedelcheva certainly knows she has a game and a battle on her hands here against the German. Once again, if you're tweeting, don't forget to use the hashtag SOGP for all your tweets and we'll try and get to them as often as we can here in the live commentary over the next couple of days at the Emirates Arena. Well, sir. Half an hour gone in this match. Really has swung this match, hasn't it? It's, um, you know, you've had uh, one player playing well at one point, and then uh, a run of mistakes, and uh, you don't quite know which one's going yeah. to uh, swing next. Yeah, the momentum is swinging back and forward across the net. A good block 14, from the German. 10. And Petty has given a run of easy points, really, there. Um, should give Karen a lot of uh, confidence. Fifteen, ten. It's like, it's like Petty has just switched off all of a sudden. Starting to look around her a bit, look around the court, look around the arena. And I think this is the important point where Karen's got to move her full distances, really move her as much as you can around the court and make her even less interested. Yeah, she didn't even go for that one, right? 16, 10. I think Petya has let this one go at 16, 10. Service over. And then the go-to power smash. 
getting her out of trouble once again. 11, 16. It's been interesting that the well, ones that Petty has see. left have been right at the front of the court where she's going to have to lunge mm. and um, just makes you wonder whether there's something going on there that we don't quite know about at the moment. Service over. I know this much, if it goes to three ends, um, I think Karen's got the engine to uh, go all the way, that's for sure. She's got the engine, she's also got the fight and the determination yeah. to do it. Yeah. Good angle smash right into the body. Pepeche has definitely lost her well. fire at the moment, hasn't she? Nineteen, twelve. Superb shot, cross court net, and a confident Schnazza now moves to game point. That's it. I think Petya was quite happy to let that one go in the end, Ray, but certainly the flame went out of Petya's engine midway through that uh, second game. But good fight, good determination. It was, it, it was from halfway through. I mean, it was um, so, so close at the changeover, and then uh, whatever's happening out there, it seems as though um, Petya's not got the mobility that she had in the first set. But that's not taking it away from Karen who's um, been working hard right throughout the match and um, been really uh, chipping away at uh, Petya all the time. And playing good solid badminton. Yeah, a lot of credit has to go to the German or head of could have easily fallen after losing the first, but uh, she's a battler, as we know, and she'll keep fighting all the way. We do know that Petya certainly has that lingering back injury. She wears a back brace most of the time when she's playing, but also she hasn't not played much singles recently. She's been concentrating a lot on doubles, so uh, this third game will be a big test of her physical condition and her physical whereabouts. She'll know exactly where she is come the end of this match physically. Certainly look from the look of all in one, and um, Petia, the way they've uh, done their 90 seconds there, it didn't look positive at all. The coach um, and player, there was distance between them, didn't look... Um, yeah, Final but they've always been a grumpy old pair. <laughs> yeah, good badminton when you can turn your opponent like that. So it's over. One, I think it's really important for Karen to try and uh, engage Petya into some long rallies at the start of this third and really test her mobility out. Yeah, superb. From the German. One, all. Two, one. Big test now for Nedelcheva. Big test. 
of her concentration. She seems to be just a little bit distracted. things tend to even themselves out looked out to me I think it was just out it was it was a great shot um, but just out that's a great shot service over it's interesting that when Three. she's had it up short like that, every single time she's gone for the same point on uh, Karen's body. Cross court, 90% of the time comes off for Schnazza. Three. But four. I actually think that's the sort of rally that Karen wants to play. She's got to make her move quickly. She's got to make her move full distances. And the change of speed. Nidilcheva bringing the winner. So Petschi was on the wrong end of that rally for most of it and then Five, still was able to get three. her way out of it. And I think um, there's a real key, key here for Karen and she's got to try and prolong these rallies and uh, really move Petschi at full distances. Oh, really what good great rally. Yeah. What great, great rally from, from both girls, to be fair. Straight. Great drop, that from Petty, and then pushing it down the line for the winner. No chance for Karen. So the sort of moves that are really working for Karen is uh, when she makes Petia change Four, direction six. and these short sharp shots to the front of the court. She's got to try and produce more of that and prolong the rallies. And that's what she can't afford to do, is so hit it short to Petia with Petia's seven, power. Four. Over. For once, Nedalcheva's net play just letting her down. Five, seven. Six, 
again, it's Schnauzer doing her best to extend the length of these rallies. And I feel that's the key, that uh, she's got to really involve Petya in the rallies and uh, make her work harder than she wants to work and try and get her into this mode where she's not interested in the match like we saw in the second set. Eight, six. Oh, man, a wild swing. Nine, Poor error. Poor six. error that. So they're the sort of areas on the court Nine. that Karen's got to hit. I think both sides, she's got to sort of pull these little sharp shots down. And uh, Petia seems to have a weakness there at the moment. Doesn't want to stretch for him. Eight. Change of mind at the last minute. Right decision for the Bulgarian. Eleven eight interval change. You see, I, I don't know if you've noticed, Ray. I've just seen Petya limp a little bit yeah, on move her left a little leg. Bit. Yeah, a little bit sluggish. Carrying yeah. that left ankle or something. Move a little bit awkwardly. I've mm. noticed that a few times during the match, actually. And I think that's why I keep saying that um, Karen should try and extend the rallies. And, you know, w when you've got a player that's got an uh, injury, there's no love lost out there. You s you've got to really uh, expose it. And if they want to retire, they retire. Court one. 20 seconds, court one, 20 seconds. The trick really is finding the parts on the court that is going to hurt her the most. Second half of the second game, third game I mean, I'm Mark Phelan, beside me Ray Stevens. Eight, Hope you're enjoying eight. our commentary on our live coverage of this the 2013 edition of the Scottish Open Grand Prix of course on this occasion as Babington Scotland build towards the Commonwealth Games which will be held here in this arena during the summer of 2014 Good get from Petya, full stretch. And equally, Schnaza fighting for everything. Both players working so hard in this rally. Oh. So I've been saying right throughout that um, the longer the rally goes on, uh, the more it's going to help uh, Karen, but um, that really tested both girls to the limit, that, that rally. And uh, I felt Petia did really well, Nine, but she definitely looks like she's got movement problems the longer the rally goes on. It's a customary argument between Petia and Orlin. Great get by Karen there. 
Yeah, she's up for it. Ten, she certainly looks like 11. the more likely to go on and win this in the third. It's a brave call, but I'm, I make you right, Mark. Yeah. And I think the, the area that's really hurting Petia is that forehand lunge area. Yeah. When she has to go to that forehand right corner. So there. Yeah. She'll do it once, but she'll rarely do it yep. twice in a rally. And that exposed both the areas that I'm talking about that's uh, hurting Petia at four. the moment, uh, both at the front of the court. But, of course, you've got to expose her at the back of the court to uh, get, get to those areas. Out. I think she thought she had the first one won, and Karen somehow got it back. And there was so little in the in the second smash as well. It's really really tight. It's a tweet from Vile Lang about his match earlier today. Vile said today was a different story than yesterday. Couldn't particularly play his best game. As his opponent trashed it well, but happy to win in two. Always happy to see Vile winning. That's where it hurts, Petya. Yeah. Ah, she's some, cer certainly struggling physically somewhere, but one of, I think it's her right ankle. Over. And still the match really is in the balance, sir. Yeah, good change, good variation from Petya. Really was. Well. She was playing uh, sort of these high clears that uh, gives Karen lots of time to think what shot she's got to play. Um, real different tactics uh, introduced there. Yeah, but you can see clearly Karen was coming in. She showed the net shot and then at the last second clipped it cross court, forcing her opponent to change direction. Really clever. From Ed Alcheva. Oh, yeah, 14, superb cross net. 13. All of a sudden, looks looks like she's back in the game again. Mentally focused again. Fifteen, thirteen. Karen. Karen having a little chat with herself. Over. Karen yeah. really having to work for the points here, and uh, 14, that's the way she. 15. The only way she's going to win this match is uh, through a war of attrition out there, and really uh, uh, keeping the rallies going. Whereas Petty has got the ability to win quick points. Oh, she was going to hit it there for a second, Ray. So she close. Did. She looked like she was uh, shaping up to drive that one down the line. It was a long way out. Tying it up again, 15 all. Yeah. 
Yeah, fantastic shot. Sixteen. Let's see 15. it again. On replay, had to be pinpoint accuracy. No room for error. Right on the line. So important, Karen doesn't let this slip away from her now because she's so well and put so much work in. And uh, I think Petty is just hanging on there and using her experience to get the points. Yeah, if this is a big point. To go three behind at this point would be very difficult to see Schnazza pull it out of the bag. But she closes it in to within one. 16-17. But Petty is going to fight it all the way now because at uh, a t a tight like this, whether she's got carrying an injury or not, she's going to fight it. Oh, very, very tired type of error. 17, oh. Nothing in this match at all, but you just feel that Karen's the one with the uh, the fitness. And Petty has got this uh, extra string where she's got the. Um, Power to 17. win points. Oh. Good fighting from Nedelcheva. Certainly is. Been struggling for quite a few yes. points there. And then a smash at the body. I mean, all the clips we've been seeing, and that's a really uh, clever way to win the point that she, Karen's just used there. See it in the replay. Again, good 18. fighting from both women. Oh. And in the end, the smash right into the body. No chance for Nedel Cheva. Service over. 19-18. Another big point for Schnazer. Oh yeah, superb. So it's over. Just out of reach. And we level it up again at 19 all. 19. Approaching the hour oh. mark. We'll see from the replay. The lift from Nedelcheva. There's a gentle, not even a cut. Caressing the shuttle over the net, out wide. And in the blink of an eye, it's the German who moves to match point. And all credit to both players because Petia seems to have been uh, under mobility problems and yet she's really, really played well. Both great match this. Oh. And once again, it's Nedelcheva who calls on the power smash that takes her out of trouble. It's the one thing we can certain to be used in this um, last few points of the match.
Easy smash winner. And in the blink of an eye, it's now Ned Olcheva with match point. Two in a row. 21, 20. And now we'll see what Schnaz is made of mentally. A little bit of luck for Petya, clipping the net. Oh, it looked to be going out. Yeah, and that's it. Once again, it's the Bulgarian who pulls it out of the fire, as she's done on so many occasions. Certainly unlucky for Karen Schnazza. She put up a great fight. She had the opportunities and uh, just didn't take the opportunity right on the hour. It's Neda Cheva who takes the game. In three, 22-20. And Ray, she has a lot to be thankful for coming through that one. She does. I mean, she's taken her back support off straight away. I'm sure that uh, she was having lunging problems, particularly to uh, the right-hand side. Um, you know, what fighting abilities to be able to win a match in that sort of situation. And uh, all credit to Karen as well uh, for playing such a great match, um, showing her fine attributes as a rallier and shot player. As the girls leave the court... Disappointment, of course, for Karen Schnazza. It's Nedelcheva who goes through to the next round. Women singles up again next on court. Jamie Subhandi, number eight seed against Sandra Maria Jensen of Denmark. Don't forget, if you want, contact us on Twitter, hashtag SOGP. And, uh, Stay tuned for our next match. As I said, women's singles for Denmark, Sandra Marie Jensen against Jamie Subhandi.